Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel for this Wednesday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. I've had a great day, I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening across the world where you may be at. And today I want to talk to you about special educational needs and disabilities for here in the UK. There is a recent debate in the House of Commons which is the UK House of Parliament here in the UK. And as an autistic adult, autistic woman, I thought it's important to bring this to you. So I'm going to read the exact letter that was written about this debate and then give my feedback on it. So on January the 11th this year, special educational needs and disabilities was debated in the House of Commons in regards to crucial services and the provision of children's services. The debate was attended by over 30 MPs across the House. I agree that the system for special educational needs and disabilities are causing serious crisis for families and those individuals. The House has resolved and agreed that SEND provision needs to be instantly reviewed. At present, the deficit in local authority needs budget is estimated to be £2.3 billion and is expected to be £3.6 billion by March 2025. The F40 group, who represents some of the worst local education authorities within England, is calling for an additional £4.6 billion in additional funding, the minimum necessity to stop the crisis spiralling out of control and happening again further years down the line. Furthermore, in order to prevent a repeat of this constant crisis in a few years' time, aspiration of the com of the Commons paper, the right support, the right place at the right time must be a significant increase which will allow local authorities to invest in infrastructure that the SEND relies on. The level of need has increased in recent years. The total number of health and care plans and statements has doubled since 2015, but the government has not yet kept up to pace. This letter was signed by MPs such as MP Sir David Davis, MP Sir Peter Bottomley, MP Dame Pretty Patel, MP Sir Jeremy Wright, MP George Eustace, MP Sir Robert Buckland, MP Tobias Ellswood, MP Desmond Swain, MP Alan Carnes, MP Al Andrea Jenkins, MP Greg Clark, MP John Wickendale, MP Wendy Morton, Kelly Tolhurst, Mark Francois, Peter Aldous, Tom Hunt, and Steve Tromwell. So these are just some of the names that were put on this cross-party letter. But now I'm going to read you my thoughts as an autistic woman, autistic lady. My thoughts are, I must say, I'm rather quite pleased to be finally hearing about more improvements to send funding for children's and health and care and education plans. But I recognise we are still failing short. The system is completely broken when it comes to SEND and disabilities with regards to adults. This is a recurring problem that I see. Adults with disabilities or SEND are not being mentioned or addressed and disabled children become disabled adults. Adults with disabilities need better support and unfortunately adults' needs and care are still not being met and this makes me worry with future social care already at an all-time high. People like myself who are disabled, I am autistic and I worry about my future even though I am a very independent and what you call functioning. The system needs more people like me with disabilities to be involved and more personal lived experiences. Otherwise we're going to keep going through this constant up and down swirling crisis again and again and again and again and again until things start to improve. But things will not improve until we get more disabled people's voices and the personal lived experiences at the forefront of parliament and politics and stop these MPs speaking for us. The MPs do not know what our lived experiences are like. They do not go through our daily lives and experiences. They do not know what it's like to have a disability. They don't know what it's like to live with restrictions. They don't know what it's like to live with judgment to being disabled. They have no idea of the first call of what happens for a disabled person every single day of the week. They have no idea. They need to be adjusting the system, making the system beneficial for everybody that is a disabled adult, whether it's autism, mental health, physical health, intellectual health, emotional health, you know, it all makes a crucial point. It all matters. We all matter. The sooner we get Parliament to shut up and listen and sit by and help us get the special educational needs and disabilities issue 
on track then we'll start seeing improvements i know this is not going to happen overnight it's not going to mean overnight success story things are not going to change right now unfortunately they're not but if we can work together with our mps our councillors you know the house of lords you know get everyone on the same wavelength on the same channel on the same premise then things will start to change but unfortunately due to how the parliament system is run it is very much focused on helping themselves and not others and the parliament works for us they work for us they serve us the common person the common people and unless people start voicing their opinions and saying hold on a minute no 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 things are not going to change things in parliament won't change without us the problem is a lot of disabled people are frightened to speak up or to shout out or to go to parliament to attend debates this is what democracy is this is how your democratic right works you need to voice your opinion you need to speak up you need to stand up you need to attend meetings that i do because if you don't things cannot change and you can't complain unfortunately send has been a long-standing issue i've done multiple videos about special educational needs and disabilities over the years here on my channel i will continue to voice my opinion my worry my frustration my stress as a legal autistic disabled adult things won't change unless we call this parliament out for what it is which is the parliament is broken it doesn't function correctly it is something that they are slowly starting to address and i'm starting to see slow changes and things start to help out disabled people but unfortunately the parliament is not accessible to disabled people the system is not right the language isn't right and just by today what i've seen parliament is becoming a laughing stock it is not working for us they are trying to only help their own pockets and help their own selves please guys if you have an issue with your mps county councillors borough councillors county councillors please go and see them email them telephone them voice your opinion and make the change you want to see because i will keep pushing for as far as i can keep pushing and i hope you've enjoyed this video i will link the letter down below in my video description and i will see you on the next one guys bye